Now you're unmuted. Good morning, guys. It looks like we have a big crowd today. We've got people in here. We've got people online. So uh, I guess that's what happens when I announce something during an office meeting. So what we're doing today is we are showing you how to put together your own presentation. Uh, Lainey has made this incredible um, template for you to use. Uh, for you to access this, if you're smart, you're going to go on Slack right now and click on the link. Yep. Because if you can do this as we're going along, you can also ask questions. Or are we going to be able to hear them? Yeah. Can yeah. Somebody, just can somebody online talk, say something? Say so hi. Good so morning. We can know that we can hear you. If we unmute ourselves, yeah. Oh, sucks to be you guys. We won't be able to answer your questions. Hold on. Okay. We're going to try to fix that. I'll just stay unmuted and keep talking. Anybody? 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 I, I hear you. I, I can hear you. you. <laughs> I can hear you. I can hear you. <laughs> okay. Now you guys can all mute yourself. <laughs> you guys can still hear us though, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. This way you guys can ask us questions as we go along. Today, like I said, we're just showing you the template and how you can do this yourself. You'll just switch out uh, Andrew and Annette and put yourselves in. So very simple. This is absolutely beautiful. Is this scroll here? Just click over here. Let's see if it's scroll. Okay. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. This is absolutely beautiful. We're going to make it bigger first. See that? So we'll open something yeah. else to be able to see it bigger. You Hold just on, really it. quick. We want to show it to you first. Uh, oh, in Drive. There it is. Back. Okay, so I'm just again, is it this way? Um, we can do it that yeah. way if you want to make it. A little bit smaller. There we go. That's Perfect. Enough. And then, yeah. Okay. So, as you can see, when you hand this, okay, you guys, okay, we're getting started. So, you guys need to be quiet in here, by the way. That's why you get here early. So, you're ready to go. Okay. First page selling your home. And see how beautiful this cover is. Oh, whoop. Okay, so now go down. You just scroll down. That went to the next page. So just scroll down. So, okay, I was gonna, that wasn't supposed to come up. Okay, and then it goes into your welcome letter. At the Warburton team, we are committed to delivering exceptional service to our seller clients by harnessing the power of AI technology in today's fast-paced real estate market. Selling your home demands a strategic edge, and that's precisely blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to read this whole thing. <laughs> because this is supposed to be a half hour class, but it won't be. Um, so of course you would be able to insert your photo here and you would be able to switch out Annette and Andrew for your information yeah. and all of this down here. But- You can also change the letter if you don't like something it says or you wanna see something different, you can also change what the letter says too. Perfect. Hey, be, so, yes. Can we change the photo as well to like the, um... The listing agent's home. I mean, the listing. Yeah, I'll show you guys how to do that. When we're gonna, we're just yeah. right now. We're just showing you what the report looks like, and then Got we're it. gonna go screen by screen to show you how to interchange your information. So uh, this is just page two. <laughs> uh, steps to closing before listed and under contract. Eight steps to success. Phone versus pros. Did you know homes with professional photography? So this is really good information on here. Preparing to hit the market, you know, clean your house, get rid of the clutter, all sorts of stuff. Important areas, interior, these are things, uh, you know, and something uh, what I like on this is the light bulb on here. It makes such a difference when you walk into a home and if you see a bunch of burnt out light bulbs, it looks like crap. 
So you need to make sure the house is, you know, ready to show it all when you go ahead and make that active. Important areas, exterior, and I couldn't say enough about this. If your house looks like crap, if the curb appeal is horrible, the front door is chipped paint, they're going to figure the house looks like that inside. So curb appeal is super important. So, and you've got to, you know, when you go through this report, there are certain things you want to point out to your client as well. AI driven marketing, that's what we're all about. So I love that Laney threw this piece in here because that's where the market is going and everyone goes online and, you know, this, this is all about us. Online website distribution, uh, making the calls, following up, social media strategy, open houses, our promise to you. Uh, and here's Zillow reviews. So of course you're gonna, well, it says the Warburton team. So you could probably leave you this leave page. Yeah. I would leave this one. Uh, and again, this is where you're gonna. You could leave this too. It's our happy clients. Yeah, these are like, houses that have been sold through the Warburton team. So this is going to help you as well. See how nice this is, Laney. I, I can't say enough about it. Uh, and then of course, you're going to have to put your property in here that you are listing. Yeah. So that's what all of this is. Estimated it's market. not in the template. The template doesn't have this. So you can just input yours or have it separate if you wanted. And, and just a word to the wise, uh, estimated market value for me, I like my client to tell me that. So I personally would not have, I would have a range. I wouldn't I have, a, there's a range underneath it, but I wouldn't have one figure there because if they end up going with that number, it sells in a day. Oh, I could have probably got more. If it sits on the market, oh, you told me to price it too high. This is my house. I'm good with that. It's number. never a win-win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you want to make sure, you know, and that's up to you what you want to do as far as that goes. And then, of course, thank you. And I'm sure you want your photo here instead of Annette and Andrew. We're going to score out of 10, so we have two or three. 12. Whoa. Whoa. Guess who just walked in the room? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to put this together for yourself. So, of course, since Lainey put it together, she's going to be the one walking you through it. Are there any questions about any of the pages so far? Hopefully not. We were just showing you what it yeah. looked like. So this would not be the time. <laughs> so I have a question really quick. Sorry. <laughs> one second. Yeah, you can. If you Yes. So you can delete. But mm -hmm. the problem would be this page you would also have to revise this one so these eight steps go to each of those pages oh, so okay. if you delete one of those pages then you, you have to revise this yes a yes. uh, question online yeah hey so the canva and it could just be that those pages aren't in the canva sheet but the canva has 16 pages and the presentation you guys were just going over has 22. it doesn't have the cma on it in the ai we was added no the ai is on there what doesn't it have? On the CMA, oh, the okay. the like the information about the specific house. Oh, you know what? It doesn't have the reviews either, which I can add to it. Because these are things that were added to the report. Yeah. So if you guys want the reviews and stuff, I can add that or you can put in your own. I would want okay. the reviews if I were you guys. You are part I of the would. Warburton team. And so those those reviews are for the Warburton team. That's only going to help you guys. Yeah, I think it would be a good idea to have them on there. Okay, so I'll have to put those back in. Um, so you're going to want to go back after today and do the revisions that we're going to show you right now because um, the pages will change. So now we're going to start with putting it together page by page. So there's actually only two pages you have to revise. Page two and the last page that you have to revise. Again, you can revise anything that's in here. So do but I wouldn't. Yeah, I'll show them how to, to start to get into it. Yeah. So does everybody have Canva open? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. awesome. So the first thing you're going to want to change is the picture of Annette and Andrew. And if you've used Canva, used Canva before, you know how to do this. If not, you'll go to uploads and upload a file and you'll pick a picture of yourself. 
um, you'll pick a picture of yourself to upload into that. That will populate into this section right here. And you will find, I'll put your photo in there, Kathy. Doesn't matter. It's going to put mine somewhere in here. Throw mine in. Okay, we'll throw Kathy's in there. It's because it's right there. It's right there. <laughs> and we'll throw Kathy's photo in there. So you really just drag and drop to where it is. Very you could simple. put the broker's photo in there. You could put anybody's photo in there. You just drag and drop your photo. Any questions there? Is everybody ready to? Well, they've got to change this. Well, I know. But, I just want the picture. Okay. Hopefully everybody's got their picture in now because here we go. Okay. So now all you're going to go to is click on Andrew and Annette's name. Double click on it till it turns blue. And then you can put. Oops. I spell that right? Yeah. C T H I. Yes. You can put your name in there. It's really tough, isn't it, guys? <laughs> Hang on. Slow down. I'm taking notes. Hang on. <laughs> okay. So then, well, it's a good thing it's recorded also then. Yeah. For, You're going to do the same thing for your information. You just click on it and enter your phone number. You, you can change your email address. You can add your subdomain. And you can put your license number. There's two license numbers here. So obviously you would, because it was Andrew and Annette, you would erase one of them and leave one of what will add yours. So let us, so hopefully, are you guys in the room done with that? Are you still working on it? Because we'll wait. Okay, you can see. So if I put in my uh, subdomain, it's a little bit long for the space. So it's really easy to just revise anything how you need to, to make anything bigger or smaller. That's the beauty of Canva. You can well, literally do anything with it. If this. you need to change the font size, just click on the box, change the font size to fit whatever you need to fit. My name is really long, apparently. And Lainey, what I did, I just changed the font size for the, um, URL. Yep, you can do that. Yeah, you can do that too. Just change the font size for just that part. So she's saying everything else was bigger and she just highlighted let's see, highlighted the URL and made that smaller. Yep, you can definitely do that too. Are you good, Doug? Yeah, I, I could see more of it. Okay. Is everybody good? Because we're going to move to the next page. Okay, we're moving the next page. So only other page you need to change is the last page. And you will literally do the same thing. Once your picture's in there, click on it, drop it in, change your name, change your information. Go into MLS and show easier to I didn't do it in the MLS. I did it on Chime. Oh, even better. Since we have so much time. Okay. Hopefully everyone's done. Is anybody got any questions on that? We're going to go into Chime next so that we can show you how to pull that CMA that you're going to add into it because that's one thing that we cannot do for you. Oh, here's okay. <laughs> Question: Does this stay? Do we download this onto a file onto our laptop, or do we just leave it on Canva? So, when once I add the other pages, you're gonna want to go back, do it, like do it again. I think it, I might be able to add them to the template that you have. If not, you'll have to just change your information again on that one if you want it. Um, and then Dave definitely save it to your um save it to your computer so you have it. I can edit once I save it. You can't edit once you save it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So do my edits in Canva and save. Then save it. Yep. Okay. So anybody else have any questions on that? Because we are going to add those other pages so it'll be a part of the template. So you're not having to do anything but add the CMA every time you go on a listing report. I I mean a listing consultation. Yeah. 
So this is already going to be done. So mine opened, but and it didn't open on my Canva account. So is there a way to open it on my own Canva account? Because then it's because I have the pro. I think you would have to share, wouldn't you? Um, you sh as long as you were logged in. Because when I opened it up, it opened in mine. Yeah. Yeah. And you're logged in on your Canva on your computer. It might ask you to log into Google. If you log into your Canva and click the link, it should automatically take you to yours. Mine did. Yeah, mine did. Yeah, it was mine. Okay, we'll have to go. We need to keep moving, so we'll have to go back to that. Okay, anybody else? We're ready. So now uh, we're going into Chime. So we can do a quick CMA. Are you new your house again? That would be yeah, I'll do my house again. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so and you guys are all going to know where I live. Great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. You're in trouble. Uh, so when you're in Chime, you're going to go to campaigns at the top. You guys can do that later. Okay. Because I'm going to revise it anyway and post it okay. with more tips. We can help you later. Um, so in Chime, so everybody that's following along, go to Chime and go to campaigns at the top. Then at the on the left in the black section, you're going to scroll down to uh, CMA. It's under listing suite. Pretty easy. And you're going to click on CMA. One. It's like I have too many of them. Sorry, we got to delete okay. to be able to yep. add. <laughs> okay, so once you click on CMA at the top, you'll click on add new. And you're going to click, on, it's already selected seller CMA presentation, and you're going to create presentation. Client name. We'll put me, report name, um, you can just put the address, right, Kathy? Yes. It's probably your easiest bet, because if you're doing more than one of these, you're going to be able to identify them. Okay, so then you're going to put in the address. And you can fill in anything about it, four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,200 square feet. You can put in an image, which I know I had one somewhere. I would just grab anyway. Yeah, I was going to say, we're just going to pretend this is my house because that's a, amazing. And you can click down here with this little plus button for additional information. If you really want to put more information, the year build, the lot size, any of that. I, I would definitely put the lot size and yeah, the lot size does does is a good one. Yeah. So this pulled up houses. It automatically pulled up pulled up houses sold and listed in my neighborhood. You can view the selected here and really just you're just going to click then continue and if there's any comps on there wait, wait, wait. oh yeah if there's any comps on there you don't like see the right on your right hand side those check marks yep. you can uncheck them so if there was something that pulled up that because you know the area you don't feel as good or if there was one that was way higher than the rest because they put in a bunch of you know upgrades and stuff yeah you may want to take that high one out mm -hmm. Because that you want the average to be, you don't want to show up and them say that they want theirs as high as that one. So make sure that you're not just doing this and not looking at it. So far, I've seen Chime is pretty good about keeping it within um, the square good. feet. So in the MLS, you have to choose the square feet and you have to choose all the bedrooms and stuff. But uh, Chime just kind of does it for you. Looks good. Yep. They're all right there. Yeah, they're all in the neighborhood. Okay, so also let's select all and continue. So everyone got that far. Does anybody have any questions right now? No. 
That's good. Uh, You've seen the salt. There are some of those check marks that is not there, kind of for some of them. It, uh, it's not selected. We can select those. Uh, to you can. It's probably the ones that are not as. There's, yeah, because it shows 15 there. But uh, there's probably a reason they're not selected because it could be square footage. It could be something else. Upgrades. Oh, so the unit, yeah, it may have a, yours may not have a pool. That may have a pool. So even though you see 15 comps, there's a reason they weren't all checked. And I'm assuming it's not including the ones that are not checked as part of the total amount. Yes, the ones that aren't checked are not part of the total amount. So you want to make sure, that's why I said, make sure you look at the comps because you want to have comps that are apples to apples, not apples mm -hmm. to pears. The other thing that Mina just brought up, so she was looking up a house and there was no uh, comps. There was no other houses. So we went here and we extended the search, the search a little bit. Yes. And you are going to come across those. The heck this house. Jeez. Okay. Oh, now mine's all crazy, but I don't care that much. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. what that picture looks like. Okay. So this shows the comps. You can, um, can you add you can add remarks so say you do have one that has a lot of upgrades it's the highest one on there it's with all these it's listed at eight hundred thousand, and it sold um you can add why it has a pool it has upgrades it doesn't back up to rancho california like your stupid house um any any reasons why and you can also Uncheck adjust it. where they oh no here yeah. we go for this me one. if i have one that's like 50 grand over the rest i would take it out because it's going to hurt the average, it's going to hurt uh, everything. And there, and if you have somebody that came to you and said, well, Zillow said my house is worth a million dollars, you definitely want to take that one out. And also um, here you can adjust which ones they see first, last. Um, you can put them in order of price, pending, sold, whatever you want. Man, the days on the market. Look at those days on market. Mm -hmm. Three, four, yeah. five. 71. See? <laughs> so, well, there's 71. Yeah. yeah. How many price adjustments did it take to get there? Yeah, and it's one of the lowest. That might be one you take out, too. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's one of the lowest, and it's 71 days. I bet there's some stuff wrong with that house. Um. Yeah. Okay, so then so you Don't can... just do this to get it done. Yeah. Look at your comps. We're just showing you quickly, but you actually want to look at it. Yeah, we're not going through the comps for yeah. you. So then you click continue again. And here is where you can pick the pages. Um, if you want to have this as a separate, so you have your listing report and your CMA, completely separate, two different things, two different documents, you can do that. You can keep the header or the, I mean, the front page and the agent resume and all that stuff. I canceled everything except for the stuff that had to do with the house. I did keep. Um, and you know, you can keep some of those pages aside from the CMA and do it like a pre-list report where you throw it on their porch a day or two ahead of time, you know, like time on the market, pricing it right, curb appeal, those other pages that you see in the MLS a lot, those are really good for pre-list package to throw on their porch. So you don't have to have those conversations when you get to the house, but we'll go through that when we do the listing presentation, not just showing you how to put one together. Yeah. So I kept the listing map. So Perfect. it showed where the houses were, the side-by-side -side comparison. Um, this one. Oh, that one doesn't show for some reason. And I did this one. Kathy said she wouldn't. I don't know. My house just lost twenty thousand dollars in a, in price, <laughs> so that's not cool. But, and that's up to you. Yeah. And then I also included this one when I did it. I like that one. And then we had our own testimonials and everything else, and our own marketing plan. We had all that already in the listing report, so I didn't include all those. And if you want to delete anything. You can just scroll over it and use a trash can. Trash can, trash can, trash, trash can. So you can keep using the trash can till you have exactly what you want. Let's pretend that's what we want. And you can click continue. It's been published. 
Um, I can get a link to it or a PDF of it. Once you confirm, it shows up um, right here on your back at your chime. And you can view it here. So here's the report. That's it. Now, how do they link it into theirs is what we need to show them. So um, the way I did that, because that was for a presentation for something different. The way I did that, if you really want to do that. So I would, I would print this when you save it as a PDF. I would print it and just um, put it in the pages before your thank you page or just completely at the very end of your report. Well, what if you brought your laptop and you wanted to show it on your laptop? Or email it. Or email it to them. So how do you put it together like you had in that presentation so that they can use it that way? So the way I did that is a little bit different. Let's see how I did that. That was for the Zillow thing. Right. So the way I did that is advanced, sort of. Uh, oh, if you have a snipping tool or a screen, any thing, you can take a screenshot with on your computer. Oops. What in the world did I just do? There we go. I click the, that and I cut everything. I just, oops, nope. I didn't like it. I took a screenshot of exactly what I wanted in the report. Let's do one page of it, so I'll show you. So this is exactly what I wanted in the report in the snipping tool. I saved it as, let's say, map. Then back in Canva, wherever you want to add a page, so say you want it at the very end, you would select the page you want it after, add a page right here. There's a little page with a plus button. Then you need to upload. Here it is. It's going to populate it right into here. Oh, just like I did here with all of these. And drag it over. And then drag it over. And you can resize it. You can put the address fancy in there. You can do whatever you want to do. You can do that with any of the pieces of the information that you want on there. But it also gives you an uh, email uh, option right when you end it. So you can kind of email that. Yeah, there's a lot of different versus. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Kathy just wanted to know how I had it originally when I presented this. Zillow, how I had done that originally. You can go over here to text, add a heading, put the address if you want. You know, make it any kind of font that you want. I mean, you could play with this all you wanted to um, make it look pretty or just throw the um, pictures in there so it's all together. That's not a pretty. No, <laughs> no. in case you're wondering. <laughs> it looked like cursive. <laughs> yeah, It's also not pretty, but you get the idea. Huh. You can change it to be however you want it to be and throw any of those graphics from the CMA in there if that's how you want to do it as one report, whole report. Does, this is recorded, so you can watch that over and over and over again if you need to. Yeah. Does <laughs> anybody have any questions on any of this so far? So when it does save in China, you can always go back and edit it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Okay. Anybody else online have a question on what we just did? Okay. Like she said, it is recorded, so it will be saved. And where do they access the recording? Um, well, once it's all downloaded onto the Zoom uh, cloud, I will download it and post it on Slack. I will also post um, the template with the uh, other pages that Kathy wanted with the reviews and everything. So like, that way you're only editing uh, 
your those, picture and your information. That's and adding the CMA if you want to. Exactly. That's all you have to do. So it's very simple, very professional. And this way you can either print it out or you'll have this done in here so you can actually take your laptop and show it directly from Canva. Yep. Or download it and show it from yeah, wherever it's you It's very can. simple. Kathy taught me something. Um techie guys. I know it's shocking. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Look at you, uh, who who's who who did yeah right <laughs> so you can actually present straight from canva so um it looks you can show them like this with just the black background and you do that when you're in canva so if you go to share you can wait where is it kathy no next to share is presentation no <laughs> Wasn't there? Just yes. What? But may I suggest that you always have it on paper? Go present here because yeah. your computer may not fire. Yes. Yes. Oh, absolutely. That's what happened to me at that time. And then Jack and mine. What'd you do? Yeah, so you can just copy the link. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, and see these two arrows down here? If you just click this, it will expand it as well. Oh, look at that. There you go. I am not liking this situation of Kathy teaching me. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then you can just click over. So when you're with your clients, but you know, like Angela said, if there's no internet, if something happens, then you look like an idiot and you have no presentation. So uh, always have backup plan. If yeah. you know, it looks beautiful on a screen but always have that backup plan and it's not that many pages. So I would make sure. And then you have this to leave with your client as well. So make sure you have it in a pretty folder. Okay, anyone else? So um, where it has our email or phone number and the website mm -hmm. and it has the two broker IDs. Mm -hmm. Do we add ours on there too? So I think there's two. You're switching. You You're there's switch. two because yeah. you have Annette and Andrew. Yeah. yeah. You take theirs no, you off take and you theirs put off. yours yeah, in. Yours. Yes, yes. Anybody else? Okay, that concludes our presentation for today. Thank right. you for attending. And uh, we already told you it will be posted. We are going to change the template. So we have the resume, not the resume, the, uh, the reviews. The reviews and everything else. So thank you guys. I hope you guys got a lot out of this. Thank you. Thank you. Very, yeah. very, very nice. Thank to you. Me. You Thank are you. welcome. Whoopsie. Yeah, I'll get it because I got to get the recording. Kathy, just a side topic or, or uh, 